Hey, happy holidays everyone. Coach Richard here. Um, I wanted to do an arm blaster routine uh, today um, to celebrate the holidays. I've been doing this every day uh, pretty much, um, but I'm limited on what I can do because of my hamstring issue. You know, I still have my brace on. I want to give a health update and uh, we'll go through the workout, chatting about different things. And then at the end, I want to do a shout out uh, to the video, uh, the uh, channels I follow and and uh, tell you a little bit about them. And uh, just so stay tuned for that. So um, what I do on what I call arm blasting, I'm working out my biceps and my triceps. And so I've got my preacher, preacher curl bench here, which is really great because I can sit down because I still have my leg brace on. And uh, um, We'll get started and I'll give you a little bit of a health update. So I always start off with a warm up. Um, I have this 20 pound bar. My kids use it. I really like these a lot. I have a 20 and a 12 pounder. But I'll I'll do when I when I lift I when I call it endurance lifting. So I'm doing high reps. Um, this works best for me because in ultra running um, I could be out on in the forest for 30, 30 plus hours. Um, so I wanna work my arms, make them strong and really can do rep, high repetition. Cause my arms are, are uh, I'm swinging my arms. I'm also using heck, trekking poles on some mountain races. So that's why I do it. It's not for everybody, but it's the way I do it. And I, I think it works really well for me. I'm doing 25 reps as a warm up. And the preacher bench is nice because it's, it's keeping me strict curl. It's a few more reps. All right, set this guy inside. I also use this when I when I want to warm up my rotator cuff before bench press. Set this guy right here. <coughs> jump to my uh, 25 pound bar. I have these custom molded uh, bars, which I really like a lot. So I'm trying to do uh, 15, 15, rep, uh, 15 reps on this second set. So I met with my doctor on December 8th. It's about 11 days ago. And uh, he checked out my incision, which is below my right buttock and felt around, says things were working out pretty good. Um, told me that he'll see me in a month and that'll be when I get my brace off. So I get my brace off on January 8th. And um, I start PT um, on the day after Christmas, on December 26th. So it'll be my first PT session. Try to rest at least a minute. If you go longer than that, it's okay, because we're doing high reps. So P first PT sessions on December 26th. So next week, the day after Christmas, I'm looking forward to that. He also said I could take my brace off when I sleep and when I uh, shower, I can do that. I've been taking it off sometimes when I shower, but I have a special bag that I put over it. As far as sleeping, I usually get up during the night. <clears throat> sometimes I go to the toilet. So I decided to keep my brace on. So I haven't been taking it off at night. Um, it doesn't bother me when I sleep. I put a pillow under it. So it's been working pretty well. Um, today I'm fasting. I've actually been fasting since last night. I can't eat nothing all day. Tomorrow I have a colonoscopy. Um, it's just, I'm trying to get it done because I paid my deductible already this year because of the big surgery. And I have to do it every three years instead of every five years because the last time they found a few polyps, which were non-cancerous, but they just had me on a three-year cycle. So I'm doing that tomorrow. So I've been staying really busy with the doctors. Um, then on Friday, I have a deep cleaning. Let's get going again. <coughs> Another set on the light one. Have a deep cleaning. Usually have to do deep cleaning every year. Um, my teeth are really tight. Probably should have got orthodontics a while back. They still tell me that I probably should do that. But uh, 
doing that on Friday. So we put sleep tomorrow, colonoscopy. And then on Friday, I'll be getting some injections in my mouth so they can work on my mouth. And then next week, I'm getting my first PT session. So very optimistic about my leg. It feels pretty good. I've been putting some weight on it. Um, I've been starting to walk with one crutch sometimes. I just feel comfortable doing that. You just get so used to putting weight on one leg, side of your body that you can do it without two crutches sometimes. At least that's my way of doing it. I'm very careful. So I'll take my brace off in January, continue PT. I'm hope, hoping that I can do some walking and hiking in January. And then maybe some light running in February. I really have no idea. I'll just wait for the doctor's advice. I really would like to get back started at it because um, I miss it, but I am enjoying my weight training. Um, you can see one bar here. I've actually got a new cable, um, cable uh, fly equipment that I'm putting together. I'll show you in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna bump up a rate. This is gonna be my fourth set. We're gonna bump up another 10 pounds. I've been really updating my YouTube channel. If you haven't noticed, a lot of my thumbnails have changed. I've started using AI. I had an AI program that designed for YouTubers. It's nice because it helps design thumbnails. However, it has some trouble with text. You have to run it a lot. I'm also started using uh, another, uh, probably start using Canva too to adjust text. And you can also put your image in that and the AI generated thumbnails. So I've been learning a lot about that. I'm kind of an AI expert in my daily job because I use chat GPT for finding things sometimes. So it was kind of a natural for me to, to try out this program, which uh, supports uh, YouTube. It's nice because it will, it, the AI will grab you, you upload your video, which takes a second. You just get the YouTube link and it goes through your whole video, does a transcript. And then based on the transcript helps you write a description. Uh, my English descriptions were, were pretty poor and they're not very good for SEO, you know, search engine optimization. So the AI has been helping me a lot, gives you lots of different potential titles for the video, descriptions, helps you do that. So I basically went through all of my, I just finished, I went through all of my 300 videos and updated the descriptions and titles and thumbnails if needed. So I've been working on that. So that's one of the things I've been working on. Um, if you're interested to learn more about the AI for YouTube, send me an email. Um, you can see find my email address on my um, YouTube channel. A general information page. I'm uh, happy to send you a link and you can try it out if you want. Um, uh, what else? Let's get in another set. So this is going to be, uh, so we had two, three, it's going to be the fifth set. <clears throat> That's about AI. Um, you want to keep, you know, you don't want to go longer than a few minutes because you want to really keep the pump going. I don't use any pre-workout. I just drink a lot of coffee. I really like this Preacher Crow bench. Saeed's Chinese brand. They have a store on Amazon really reasonable and my new uh cable fly equipment same brand um some other brand other equipment is titan like the tricep machine you'll see later is titan but i've been really happy with this chinese brand it's really well made and inexpensive so 
my second set there. We're gonna keep this blast going. I think it's gonna be my sixth set. We're gonna go one more. Um, try to do at least 12 reps. And then we're gonna do a little bit of dumbbell action too. It's really gonna create a burn. Um, Christmas shopping is done. Uh, my kids last day of school was today. They will actually be getting out of school in a few hours. Um, my wife's up there right now. Kind of a bummer. I couldn't go to the Christmas parties this year because my, my kids' Christmas parties are on the second floor and they don't have a, I don't think they have an elevator. And it's a lot of stairs. I just don't want to make a scene me hopping up the stairs on my crutches. So this year I didn't go. Um, I'm excited getting my cable fly equipment uh, put together. I've also got some more, um, I've had some weightlifting arm sleeves that I bought. I wasn't really happy with them. They were the wraparound. I've got some that slide on that were highly recommended. I bought those, those coming in on Friday. I've got some more Olympic bar collars coming in because of my new equipment. I don't like moving the collars all the time. So I got some more cable uh, spring action collars, which are not expensive. Some of my collars are really expensive for my, my bench press and my, um, my um, axle bar. But, um, and then I've got another 200 pounds of weight. I've got, I use only um, bumper plates, uh, which are more expensive, but I got into that because during the COVID, I'll get another set. During the COVID, the regular, the regular plates were not available. So I started using bumper plates. So I want to stick with that. I want to have all my plates the same. So I bought another four plates of 35 and another four plates of 15. So that's to support my cable fly equipment. That's six sets. Man, I can feel the burn now. Now what you want to do is go immediately into some fly work. And this is where you're really going to get the burn. So that's it on the weight equipment. Um, I'll keep this dumbbell in my freezer behind me because I can't lift weight off the ground. I have to be very careful. So that's why this preacher bench is really helpful. And I keep this, uh, this dumbbell at shoulder height on my freezer back there so I can grab it. So I'm gonna do some channel shout outs. I'll do it in front of my Christmas tree. But I wanna kinda of go over my strategy with my YouTube channel. I have a lot of friends and I guess also slash partners, you know? I really like their content. And uh, they also support me. There has been some YouTube channels in the past that I liked their content, but they didn't support me and they didn't really have to communicate with me. And that's kind of one of my pet peeves. I mean, you don't have to be a big supporter of mine, but if I comment on your videos, you know, at least reply to me, you know. Sometimes I forget to reply to people and that just happens, but there are some YouTubers that just ignore all the comments and I don't care how big I get, I'll never do that. And I'll give you some reasons why. Because I learned in business, I have very successful um, um, contacts in business. Um, I started with LinkedIn back in 91. LinkedIn is the biggest business contact network. Now they've changed it where I don't like it as much as anymore as it used, as it used to be because they got bought by Microsoft and some, some negative changes, but I still use it a lot. So I started back then, you know, over 20 years ago. I think it was 92, no, 2002. So it's been almost 20 years, yeah. More than 20 years, 21 years. Time flies. But on LinkedIn, I have over 30,000 contacts. Some of them are followers. Um, probably wondering, how do you get so many? Just 
communicate with people and growing over the years. I've always been in purchasing mostly, sourcing, so people always want to, of course, hook up with buyers, you know, try to sell something. But I've also been in sales and I've been in engineering roles. On these sets, you, you want to keep going with the flies. And when one's done, you jump to the next. Anyways, I've always given good service to people who connect with me. They send me a message, I reply to them. You know, every once in a while you get annoyed by some salesman that I'll ask you the same thing 10 times and I'll disconnect with them. But even sales people that contact me, I'll reply to them. And I sometimes get like 30 messages a day, sometimes more. When it's my birthday, I might get a thousand messages. <laughs> Because they know when it's my birthday. I'm gonna do one more set. Take a short breather. But I don't want to be part of social networks where I can't give good service. And um, I've learned from LinkedIn that if you give good service, then good things will happen. My network is so strong on LinkedIn that um, I mean, I've been sourcing for a long time. If I don't know where to buy something. I know somebody that does know where to buy it. That, that's my point. And it's been a very good tool for me. And same thing with YouTube. I want to have good friends that I reply to them and uh, we become good friends. Sometimes I don't know their name. I just know their channel name. And I know some people don't want to give out their real name. That's fine. I mean, I don't give out my surname or my last name. Some people know it, but um, because there are a lot of bad people out there that get your information and try to do bad things. but. But I think replying and having good relationship with people on, on YouTube or Twitter, I also use Twitter, um, LinkedIn, very important for your success. I'll give you an example. You know, I gotta stop doing curls. <clears throat> True story. Um, like I said, I always reply and, and have dialogue with people, connect with me. Um, when I was living in Asia, I was looking for a job in the US and uh, to come back. This was uh, 2018, so I lived in China for 10 years. Um, I got one message on LinkedIn um, from a person that maybe only had 500 contacts and no picture. A lot of people won't reply to contact that don't have a picture. And um, anyway, I started talking with him. Turns out he was CEO of a major company in California. He ended up hiring me and giving me a great job and I worked at that company. Actually, I worked at that company twice, so a total of about four years. If I would have ignored that message that had no picture, very little information on their profile, I would have never got that job. So, um, communication is important. So, so what I look at, look, look at for a YouTube channel partners, friends, is I wanna, I wanna interact with people that interact with me and uh, have a friendly you know, relationship. Because being a small YouTuber is very difficult. You know, I started over two and a half years ago. I would say probably 75% of the channels that I subscribed to back then are not around anymore. And I've been doing a lot of research on this <clears throat> because a few months ago, I also made the decision is it a hobby or is it work? And um, YouTube now is kind of a side hustle for me. I'm not making many, much money on it, but I'm working with shoe brands and doing things, working with weights and stuff that I enjoy. But I consider it a small business for me now. So my, my way of handling the channel is a little bit different now. So um, I wanna have relationship friendly relationships on YouTube where we help each other because I, I'll give you another example um, that's well documented that I have 2,000 subscribers if I create a video fitness video and I upload it and another channel let's say has 20,000 subscribers uploads the exact same video they will get a lot more views not because of their subscribers but the algorithm will show that video to more potential new users. So YouTube is not fair. It's not fair at all for small channels. They've, they've started helping out channels by reducing 
the amount of subscribers you need to qualify for monetization. So they're doing some things, but it's not, the algorithm is not fair for small channels. <coughs> That's why we need friends and partners. So there are some good channels out there that put out good content that I've maybe subscribed before or that I know about, but because they don't communicate with me or, or uh, interact with me, I don't, I don't follow them anymore because it's just, my time is limited. So that's kind of the way I look at it. So, <coughs> excuse me. So now we're gonna go to tricep workout. Hey, I'm back, it's tricep time. Uh, so here I've got a Titan tricep pushdown machine. Um, I will not show all my sets, but I typically do um, five sets of 25, so 125 reps. So let's get started. It's nice because I can put all the plates on the side. This machine also, I can do bicep curls on the back with it, with a, it's got a, a stick with the chain. It's also nice because I can uh, sit comfortably with my leg brace. So I was talking about YouTube strategy. I hope it makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. I've just been studying a lot because like I said, I try to make it more of a serious um, kind of side hustle because you know, as it grows and I can work with brands more, it supports, it supports my hobby. And uh, Let me know in the comments what you're you're planning to do for the holidays. Um, we're planning just to kind of stay stay around here, Texas. Oh man, you really feel some tricep burn on this exercise. Also, your your um, your um, chest muscles as well. So here I'm showing you my uh, new cable rack. So this guy's almost all put together. You can see it's still under construction. I've got hardware everywhere. I have to put the cables in place, but it's very nice. So these things here, I'm gonna slide up and down. You can put um, plates on it and uh, kind of spans my whole, my whole garage gym. So looking forward to finishing this guy up. Hey, this is my Christmas uh, shout outs to my friends and partners on YouTube. These channels I highly recommend that you follow um, and have a relationship with them online. They do a great job of uh, checking you out when you have new videos and you can learn a lot from them. Um, so Merry Christmas to everyone. Uh, if you don't celebrate Christmas, uh, happy holidays, uh, happy new year to you. So let me get started. Um, I will have links to all of these channels in my description. Um, so you can, you can find it there, but I'm just going to go over each channel to say a few words about it. And, uh, I'm not going to add any pictures or anything because the editing would take a long time. So let me get started. So first channel, Duncan Walsh Fitness Motivation. Again, these channels are not in any particular order, just the, when I came, I wrote the list down from my YouTube channel. So Duncan Walsh Fitness Motivation. So Duncan uh, has, uh, does all kinds of exercise videos, also tips on uh, how to maintain a good lifestyle, not get injured. Um, he's based in the UK. Um, highly recommend follow him. Osiris, Derek, um, he's based in California, also does a lot of burpee and uh, garage gym workouts uh, and also does uh, team workouts at work at lunchtime. Uh, great guy to follow. Mihai Go Running, uh, he's based, Mihai is uh, based in Romania. Um, been following him for a long time does running related videos very inspiring videos I'm also a member of his uh, channel I'm not a member of many channels I 
I'm a member of his channel because he does a lot of good things and we're good friends. Um, I, I, I'm not a member of his channel to gain subscribers that way. I just really like what he does and uh, support his channel. I, I can't support everybody's channel, but I do support his channel. Um, uh, Chloe Hammer. Sorry if I mispronounce some people's names. Chloe's based in the UK. She's originally from France. Um, very good runner. Her and her boyfriend are very good runners. She's always giving tips on 5K and 10K. Also half marathon times. How to improve. Highly recommend check her out. Olga's British Fells. Um, Olga's originally from Russia, but she lives in the UK and covers fell running. I'm jealous. I wish we had fells, that kind of team competitions in uh, my area. That's really cool what they do. They have the teams and you know wearing different jerseys and compete on all the different fells. Fells are basically small, uh, large hills, um, a little bit different, rocky. Maybe my friends in the UK would uh, just describe it differently, but that's how I, I describe it. I think it's really cool what they do. So she's based in the UK. Mark G, the test run, also in the UK. Mark is a, a runner, a trail runner, and has been training for ultras. He's based in the UK. Highly recommend check him out. A lot of good tips. Tejibe Gastra, he's based in the Netherlands. Uh, Tejibe is probably one of the best burpee practitioners there is. I mean, he's the top of the food chain, in my opinion, on burpees and calisthenics. Uh, really nice guy, very inspiring. He also does weightlifting in his in his home gym. Highly recommend check him out. He's also called the Dutch Destroyer. Uh, Thomas Tan Ultra. Thomas is an ultra runner and also does marathons. Recently competed uh, completed at least a marathon in every state. Uh, I think he's based in Seattle. He's definitely based in the U.S. Uh, highly recommend checking out him out. He has very nice videos. Chris Sharma, burpee practitioner, does, he's been doing his uh, 100 daily push-ups. He's also an avid reader, so talks about books a lot. He's based in, I believe, in Berlin, Germany. Great one to follow. Uh, OSM, One Step More. Um, Sivetana and, Z and Zach, they're based in Croatia. Have great hiking videos, really good quality ones. And I'm very interested in that part of the world. Very pretty videos. Burpee Yoga Uncle. Everybody knows the Unk. Uh, great burpee videos. Very fit guy. He's based, I believe, in California. Also does nice food videos. Um, often uh, a lot of Asian cuisine. Also in Hawaii as well. I really like uh, his channel. He, he's, he's a really good guy. Um, just a yogi doing burpees in his basement. I think Eric's probably got the longest channel name. Um, Eric McCarty, I believe he's, he's in Maryland, definitely up in the Northeast, maybe Baltimore area. He's doing uh, burpees and uh, kettlebells sometimes. And uh, also he's, uh, as the title suggests, he's a yogi, so he practices yoga and also expert on meditation. Um, great, great guy to follow. Uh, the J. Jordan, I can't say enough about the J. Jordan. The J. Jordan's based in uh, Georgia, probably promotes other people's channels more than anybody. And uh, really inspiring, uh, um, high energy person who does exercise videos. He's also doing music videos, very talented uh, writer. I'm always joking that he's gonna get a record deal someday. He's based in uh, Georgia. Clarksville Barbell Club, Brad. He does weightlifting videos, also equipment reviews, and recently had a bicep tear, uh, bicep, uh, um, uh, I'm losing the name. His bicep muscle came off his arm, came off the bone. Same as my, as my hamstring came off the bone. So we're kind of going through the same thing right now. Um, but he's based at, in Clarksville, Tennessee. Great one to follow. The old ultra runner, uh, Jay, based in Fort Worth, Texas. Good friend, known him for many years. 
does a lot of race videos for Texas, also shoe reviews, equipment reviews, great guy to follow. Uh, build it yourself. I don't know their name, but they are based in Russia. Very uh, good supporter of my channel, and they have some cool things that they post videos in Russia, like uh, they had a sauna video and then jumping in the pool in the snow just this week. I mean, really uh, cool culture where they're living in Russia. Um, Corey Journeys, um, also based in uh, Corey Journeys videos, also based in Romania. Really beautiful videos of Romania. A lot of the same type of uh, content you would see on Mihai Go's channel, but more of a tour uh, hiking type videos. Uh, Reverend Terminator, can't say enough about him. He's also a big supporter of everybody's channel. <clears throat> does a lot of weightlifting videos based in Norway also writes a lot of music and uh, uh, very talented very creative check his channel out uh, Chris Lopez Fitness um, she is another one that I highly suggest um, follow even join her channel she's the reason a lot of us have got a lot of subscribers she's very powerful in Asia um, she, she has a, a big following and, uh, does exercise videos, all kinds of videos, but is a big supporter for, for everyone that she, she, um, knows. She's from the Philippines, but she's based in Korea. Cobb's Good Journey, um, does a lot of Thai food videos. Um, I think he was in Boston for a while, but he's based out from Thailand. Very good one to follow. Naomi's uh, Adventures. I think she's based in Ohio or Michigan, but does a lot of exploring and goes into like old buildings and and uh, some very interesting videos. 100 Tour Korea, based in Korea. Uh, basically video tours of Korea. Uh, Famous places, very nice videos. Uh, Gregory, he recently was a teacher in Saudi Arabia, has very interesting videos sometimes. Basically, he's, his, his videos are about lifestyle, but he's a big supporter. So uh, Gregory's based in Saudi Arabia. Run Free and Strong, uh, Reto, he's based up in the New England area. Also ultra runner, does trail running videos. Nice and great, great guy to follow. Two running brooms, Don and John, based in the UK. Uh, one of uh, very popular UK running channel. They are putting up videos almost every day about park runs, how to improve your times. Both Don and John were very fast runners and still very fast. Uh, I mean, sub three hour marathon. You know, they, they're running, you know. Uh, <coughs> 5Ks in the 20 minute range, very fast runners. Great, great ones to uh, follow and learn about how to improve your uh, running. Uh, Celine Ferocious, I'm sorry, I'm probably pronounce it wrong, but um, music channel. She lives up in Boston. Um, also, all, you know, plays a clarinet, also bass clarinet, always following her music journey and her day to day life. I think that's very interesting to follow. She has a great channel. Um, quick fit home workouts. Can't say enough about uh, uh, Kirsten. She um, has like aerobic style, style workouts. Also, um, um, uh, kettlebell workouts. She's based in the Carolinas. Um, Missy, she's based in uh, um, Houston, does a lot of uh, uh, in fitness type of, uh, workouts, but also uh, she's lost like 150 pounds. So um, very nice to follow her journey. Uh, RV Ventures is a couple from New Jersey dri uh, driving around, traveling around the U.S. and 
they were up in the Washington area. Now they're in California. The nice, nice channel to follow. Very supportive channel. Uh, Sima and Tregesser, probably pronounces your last name wrong. Sorry. Based in Germany, burpee practitioner, calisthenics, great one to follow. Uh, a lot of good exercises. Um, David Witten, Canadian Mountie from Canada. I think he's a cool channel to follow. Burpee practitioner, calisthenics, some weightlifting. Great guy. He's a, uh, Paul from Oregon, also a burpee practitioner, also does some rings and some other things based up in Oregon. Uh, Mulholland Fit, Sean, based in Florida, burpee practitioner, also weightlifting. He's a real beast. Uh, I think his uh, day job is a plumber, but he, I can't imagine doing plumbing all day long and then do the workouts that he does at night. Uh, it's amazing. Hybrid Gym, um, he's based in Australia. Very interesting ring workouts, and he also does some burpee stuff too. Um, burpee Mati, um, based in the UK, a burpee practitioner, some extreme burpee workouts, very creative. Um, also have most of his workouts have a story based they're story based pretty cool uh, fitness Russell Sam he's based up in New York I followed him for a long time he's a burpee practitioner but also has gotten into serious kettlebell workouts recently uh, the determined runner Martin he's based in the UK trail runner also does some great product reviews highly recommend following him that place um, this channel is based in San Francisco, but does a lot of uh, tours of other places. Pretty cool. Uh, the Lame Ducks, um, trail runner based in Italy. Some really beautiful videos, a lot of mountain running uh, videos. I think he also does Spartan racing and stuff like that. Very cool. Before I kick the bucket, uh, based in the U.S., tour videos. Yeah, basically, as the title uh, suggests, he goes to places that people would want to visit. Uh, reluctant fell runner, another fell runner up in the UK. Um, he writes a lot of uh, video stories about Jam Buddy Boy, some pretty interesting stuff. But uh, nice one to visit. Justin Lieberman, he's up in Canada, burp burpee practitioner, uh, has some good workouts. Rhonda Fit uh, Fitness, <clears throat> great uh, aerobics type workouts. Great one to finish. Uh, B. Azafit, she goes by Ozzy. Uh, some great uh, aerobics workouts based in Australia. The Tattoo Ronin, he has a very interesting channel. I've been following him a long time. Product reviews, also does some martial arts uh, type stuff. Uh, great graphics on his videos, great one to follow. Uh, Go Exploring with Color and Sean, they're based up in uh, Boston. Some great tour videos, they mostly are touring around uh, the New England area, part of the U.S. Ron Sensible, Neil, based in Ireland. I think he's a registered PT, and uh, so he's an expert on, on um, physical therapy and uh, runners' issues. Has some great videos, also a very fast runner. I think he's around tw around 20 minute 5K runner. Great, great one to follow. Dev runner, Paul, um, in the Carolinas. Just an awesome runner, great at the marathon and shorter distances. Uh, great guy to follow for coaching advice and uh, become a better runner. Uh, Day Adventures with Gasper, another tour type channel, but he focuses on Arizona. Very good channel, I follow a lot. Hello Pink Unicorn, it's my daughter's channel. She's a big fan and uh, she does gaming, but she's always been a big supporter especially commenting on my live streams. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Lewis, burpee practitioner, one of the top burpee pros. Um, this time of year, he's he's taking a break in the winter, but from uh, when the sp uh, spring comes, he's uh, doing big workouts every day. He's based in California. Terry Fitness Official, fitness, Christmas videos, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, good guy, based in the UK. Um, Go Kiwi, New Zealand. Uh, Reese is a runner, has uh, some nice videos about running in New Zealand. 
Well, that's it. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss anybody. There are some people that I recently subscribed to you and you know don't know, uh, haven't communicated too much, so they're not on the list. You're not on the list, but um, surely you'll be on the list next time. Um, if I uh, uh, forgot anyone, sorry about that. It wasn't done on purpose. Uh, I try to make the list, and sometimes, not only that, sometimes you get unsubscribed to someone and you don't even know. I, I, this has been a problem on YouTube. But I want to wish everyone a great holiday, and uh, let's keep in touch. Bye for now.